For this shape, we need to find the area and the perimeter. Let's start with perimeter. So remember, perimeter is the distance on the outside. So that would be everything that I am highlighting in yellow. So it's all of that. Okay. So we can easily find this length over here. That's six. So that's this part over here. And then we could find this part over here, which is 16. And then this part over here, obviously that's not very clear, but what they mean is up to the part where the circle begins, that is seven centimeters, okay? And so if this is seven centimeters, then this would also be seven centimeters because this is a rectangle, okay? And the opposite sides of a rectangle are the same. So this would also be seven centimeters. So we've got this length, we've got this length. The only length that we don't have is this half circle part over here. Now remember, for a circle, so let's quickly draw a circle, okay? The distance, to calculate the distance around the circle, which would be all of that, is called the circumference, circumference. And the formula for circumference is two multiplied by pi multiplied by the radius. And remember that the radius is the distance from the middle of the circle to the outside. That is your radius. So if we look at this circle or this half circle here, you could imagine what the full circle would look like. It would be something like that. Now, this distance from the middle to here would be your radius. So to work that distance out, what we can do is the following. We know that from here all the way to here is going to be 16 centimeters. We also know that this part here is already six. So that means that this last part, this part here would be 10 but that is the complete length across the circle. That is not the radius. Remember, the radius is from the middle to there. So if this length is 10, then the radius would be five. The radius would have to be five. And I could say five that way, five that way, five that way, it doesn't really matter. So that length is gonna be five. So we could then work out the circumference of this complete circle by saying um, two multiplied by pi. Now your teacher might ask you to use pi or 3.14. So just listen to what your teacher says there. And then the radius is five. Now this would give us, I'm gonna use 3.14, okay? 3.14. Now this should give us 31.4 centimeters. So that would be the circumference if we had a complete circle. So if the circle went all the way around, but we only have half of the circle. We're only gonna go halfway around. So what we'll now do is we'll say 31.4 divided by two. So we're gonna half that. And that's gonna give us 15.7 centimeters. And so that would be this length going on the outside over here. That would be 15.7, 15 15.7 centimeters. So now we have everything that we need to go get the perimeter. So perimeter is then going to be six plus seven plus 16 plus seven again, plus 15.7, which is all of that. And if we had to go add all of that together, you'd end up with 51.7 centimeters. Now we need to do the area. Okay, so to work out the area, you need to divide the shape up into shapes that you already know. So for example, what we can see is that we've got a rectangle and a half circle. So we'll call this part one and we'll call this part two. This is for area. So what we can now do is, for the first part, it's a rectangle, so that's just gonna be this length multiplied by that length. Or you could have said this length multiplied by that length, doesn't make a difference. So we'll say seven multiplied by 16, and that's 112. Now remember with area, you say to the power of two. 
Now, for this part over here, you need to remember your circle formula for area. This is for circumference, but for area, you say pi radius squared. Let's write that a bit better. Pi times radius to the power of 2. And that is for the area of a circle. So for shape number 2, we're going to say um, pi, which we'll just use 3.14, multiplied by the radius. Now, remember, radius, we said for this circle, was 5 squared, but then we're going to divide that answer by 2. Why? Because this is a half circle. It's not a completed circle. Okay, and so if we work that out, we end up with 39.25 centimeters squared. So to work out the total area of the shape, we're just going to add these two values together. And so if we add the area of 1 plus the area of 2, that'll give us 151. 0.25 centimeters squared.